Good morning. Uh, so today, continuing with Snippy Pixie uh, development uh, in Go. So uh, let's get the ID up and running. Um, I need to start finishing off um, the command line interface. So um, yesterday, I jotted down a few bits and bobs that need to be done. Um, so I'm probably just going to pick off of this. Um, and I think we'll probably just start at the bottom here um, with an export feature. Um, so we already have an export in Snippy Pixie. Um, so if I get the current version, I can, um, I've got bunch of snippets here and I can just do export snippets uh, pick a dot place let's do snippets 2021 12, 14 dot json because that's the format um, and I'll save that if I go look at them uh, yeah, I could just do it here. Quite a simple format. Um, so it's basically a JSON object, which includes a generator and a version. Um, and then it has a data array, which includes different objects. So we have snippets object, which is an array of snippets. Um, so this is what I'm going to have to try and rebuild um, as an export from my Go version of Snippet Pixie. Um, and that's it. That's the only data set we've got at the moment. Um, but yeah, so this is the goal, I guess, to try and reproduce this. So generator version data and then the stuff for it. So yeah, I'll stay in there for the moment. So uh, I've had a quick, I've never done any JSON in Go. Uh, well, I haven't done much in Go. Um, so I had a quick look at the docs for um, the standard. Um, JSON stuff. So we want to marshal the JSON. Let's do a quick look at that. Oh, it's not going to do it. Let's just do JSON. Encoding JSON. So this is the standard library version, um, which I think is enough for me. I think that's all I need to do. Um, and what I need to do is I need to basically um, use this. I need to marshal my snippets in an array of snippets that I've grabbed from the database and spit them out as JSON. But then I also need to have, on top of that, I need to make those JSONs part of a, a bigger JSON object, which is the actual file, which includes the generator version, and then obviously the data contains the snippets. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of structure stuff here. Um, but the basics are there's um there's an example here. Let's go back to the examples. Custom Marshall. You can use the um, the marshaller um, interface to determine how to spit them out. Because one of the problems I have is that a snippet has um, two string fields, which are fine. JSON understands strings, so you've got the abbreviation and the body. Um, we have a UUID field, which 
technically I don't need to spitel at the moment because we're not actually included that in this current version, but in the future I probably will. Um, and also not in this version of the output, but I will want to, I think. Uh, we have a time field, a timestamp uh, for the last, last, what's the last used? Yeah, the last used field. So that's the last time that snippet was used. So if you want to export your snippets and then import them and get back that sort of ordering of what's the last few that you've used, which is quite handy. It's a good feature. Um, I should include that. And again, a time field can't be exported as is to JSON. So I'll probably export it as um, a time, a Unix timestamp because um, that's kind of how I'm dealing with time across you, um, the D-Bus as well and stuff like that. So I'll keep it kind of consistent um, the way that I transport uh, those time fields. So um, yeah, so I should effectively be able to do, um, it's not showing it in this example, but I should be able to do Marshall um, and I'll be able to output some sort of JSON. But anyway, I need to look at how to do that. So we're going to also be kicking that off from the CLI. So the CLI is going to need to have an export parameter and so on. But it's the snippet package, I think, where I will... Will I do that there? Maybe. I was thinking that maybe that's where I hold sort of the the uh, the function for doing the marshal to go from a snippet or a file structure with snippets to JSON. Although now that I say that, maybe that's not the best idea. Maybe snippets should understand how to marshal a snippet to JSON. But we should maybe have an internal package for the moment which does the export. And that understands what the file format is. And as part of that, the snippet will just get marshaled out as well. Yeah, I think maybe that's the way to go. Yeah, okay. Um, and I might kind of keep things separate-ish. Just wondering whether I should have... I haven't got any tests in here yet. So maybe should do that as part of this. Start off with a test and then um, do that. Okay, let's get Jason. Let's get Jason up and running. Although I should really do a quick test for that as well. That could be a quick basis for doing both. Okay. Let's create a test and see if we can get some um, some marshalling done. Okay, let's grab some info from here, I think. Can I get a scale? Oh, that's doing manager stuff. I don't want to do that. Let's 
That's too much there. What about the CLI? That hasn't got any. Okay. Settings, debus service. Again, that's database stuff, isn't it? Okay, well, I'm going to be using a good chunk of this, actually, from Snip. Yeah, that's it's kind of similar to that. So I'll I'll take this. as a basis and So hopefully that's yeah, it's updated the mod. Okay. Okay, so um let's do test snippet. Let's do a string here. Just do that one that we did. That we've already done, and then we'll do very similar. Um, all right, so I don't need to do that. So we're creating a snippet. It has a UID. I really do need to do like a new snippet from the abbreviation and body type thing. Um, anyway, we'll come back to that. And then And then what we're going to do is string. And then we would expect What is the format? Hello. Why is that taking time? Must be getting something. Hmm. 
yeah, okay. Hmm. Time is in standard format. Output. Save that. This is a quick and dirty test just to get things going. Um, so, let's do oh, that doesn't return an error, does it? There's no error to match. So is true out I'm sure there's contains or something like that. Isn't there? I've used that before. Strings. Okay. Strings dot contains um, SP pipe. And well, let's do that. All right. I didn't realize I had a pipe at the beginning. Oh, that's because of your UID. That's right. Okay. Do that actually. So then we'll do that. Well, there we do. Expect that. I'll do your UID in a minute. And then we expect it to end with that date. And then for the UID. I suppose it's ID is there a dot string? Yeah. Okay. So this is just a quick test of snippet string that we can turn a snippet into a string version which matches this that I'm doing. And so we're looking for begins with, I wonder, is there a begins with? There's a package list thingy gong. Uh, right, look that up. It's got to be a starts with or begins with, surely. Hmm. 
apparently not. Interesting. I'm surprised because I thought I could swear I used that before. Okay. That's, no, that's not right. It's a database. No. It's no biggie. Just deal with it for the moment. I'll come back to that if I want to. So, um, okay, ID, SP. Right, so in theory, oh, I'm in the wrong place anyway. Um, package, slip it. Uh, my test I'm using now. Oops. I don't remember where it is. So hopefully that works. Okay, right, so quickly commit that. This will add a test for snippet dot string. Okay. Now we're going to do something very similar, but we're going to try and get some JSON output so that we can use that later in a file. So test snippet. Marshall JSON. So I'll create a snippet, same thing. Actually, I want to do a little test here where I do the full expected format because I'm going to want to do that on the JSON as well. So, 
I'm doing equals. Um, so we're expecting out to be equal to ID dot string plus So I just keep it hard coded. It's easy to read then. Yeah. Pipe step it big C pipe. And then plus uh, string. Okay. All right, I'm going to do very similar here. So the final thing that I want. is I think start JSON uh, right I need to be careful here don't I I need to use oh and I'm using back text as well already Oh, this will be interesting. I'm trying to format this. Um, do, 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 do. How do I do string literals? Go lang string. Right. Back ticks. Okay. Well, 
But what's going to be interesting, I wonder if I can just... How do I escape? Because I've got a pack tick in my... Uh, I always use back ticks in my abbreviations, and I want to use that in the examples to make sure they work. Okay. Um, so as you see up here, it worked there. But if I want to do... Um, the, the reason why I want to use a little here is because I'm going to be using lots of quotes because in theory the JSON should have quoted bits. So let's try ID Can I add them together still? So back tick plus that. back tick deviation quote that'll be quoted Snippet Pixie and then that's used. So what's wrong there? Oh yeah. See that's gonna be a problem, isn't it? It's not escaping that. Interesting. Go lang escape. String tool back tick. That'll be interesting. Has anyone done it? Escapes and multi-line strings. I've looked at that before. Go okay, how to escape back ticks. You can always get back tickets inside back ticks, but you can do oh, okay. Just smush it together. Yeah, that makes sense. Fine. Uh, so, we will take that out, and we will do How 
how should we do this? Let's do I'll do it after the quote. Before the next one. Stop here. Like that. So we have an ID. Oh, we've got to finish that off as well. Um, should we just keep the back ticks just for fun? Yeah, because that's what we really want. Okay. So ID plus the string version should probably have a quote in there. I think. We'll just call the I, uh, UUIDs as strings. That makes it easier, actually. Um, so the ID it's going to be a string. Then we have an abbreviation, which is also a quoted string. Got the back tick in there. Body, which is also a quoted string. And then last used, which is going to be different. We want Unix timestamp. And then I have to make that uh, I guess a string. Not quite sure how we do that. Does that work? That's not what we want. So I need to format it, don't I? Maybe. So we'll see how that goes. I'm not sure how that's going to work. But that's basically what I'll be doing. I think in the unmarshal. So marshal. So format as a decimal the Unix timestamp and then close it off. Okay. We will see. I'm not sure. Um, so here, now Marshall has a different syntax, doesn't it? There is so it's Jason dot Marshall the value and it outputs the string JSON string and potentially an error. OK. 
Okay. So Jason dot Marshall in. And then so what's wrong with that? Oh, it's a slice. Yeeks. I wonder why that's not complaining then. Um, no, I don't care about that. I want the full thing anyway. I want the whole format. Okay. Now that will go bang right now because we've not done anything to marshal its last used into a Unix timestamp plus all these structure um, properties are capitalized because they have to be uh, which means that they're going to come out as capitalized as well so you'll have a capital a here which is not going to match what we actually want so this is going to go horribly wrong when i test it now yeah whoa okay I'm getting code points. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, let's look at this. So this is okay though. So what we were expecting That's not bad. Okay. So what we need to do is sort this out though. And see what it comes out as. So presumably, can I convert a slice? No. Right, how do I convert a byte slice to a string? Um, Golang. Slice to there we go. Everyone's asking it. Huh. That's easy enough, isn't it? Just the string data. This hmm. start to end of the size as a string.
And just him. So what does that mean then? D is definitely base 10, okay. All oh, right, okay, so that's hexadecimal. It's no good to me. Quoted character. Oh, so I could actually just do percent S. these things. Keep that around. So in theory, I do Sinas, yeah. Yeah, okay, that's good. All right, so the differences that, that we've got are, as expected, we've got capitalized um, field names. We are missing spaces, though. So that's fine, I can do that. Otherwise, yeah, so... It's converted, that's interesting, it's converted the time correctly. But I don't want that. I want a timestamp. I want a Unix timestamp for better portability. So, okay. This is where the fun begins. So first off, um, what we'll do is we'll make sure we don't have any extra spaces in here. Okay. And now 
we need to marshal snippets. So here is where the fun begins. So in theory, we can do a marshaller. So leave, if we look at the types, we have a marshaller. Um, I'll be able to do something like snippet dot so snippet as the receiver, uh, marshal JSON, and then the by array, and I should be able to return the right stuff. So function it's going to take um, s as a snippet, and it's going to be marshal json with no arguments and it's going to return a slice of bytes and an error and then in here we're going to go uh, so this is the fun bit isn't it um, There's different ways we could do this. I don't want to muck about with the snippet structure there. So I think what we'll do well there's different ways we can do it. We could do it kind of in line. Um have we got an example of that? What's the marshal? That doesn't have that. Is there is there an example here? It's unmarshal. I want marshal indent. Mm. Right, I swear I saw an example where we did an on on the fly. Maybe it's decode or encode. There's no encode. Maybe it was decode. Oh yeah, right. No. It's not what I'm looking for. I saw an example in here. Where it did Maybe it was the text, no. On the fly, maybe it's stream.
Oh, yeah, here. So, then on the fly, creating the structure, doing the tags. So this is where you can say, okay, when this comes out as JSON, I will want the name of the field to be header with a lowercase h instead of capital. So this is what I could do. I could create an on-the-fly one, passing in the data. So that does a quick conversion from a normal snippet to a JSON snippet. And then returns the marshalled version of that, I guess. Yeah, that might work. Okay. So, so we go J is equal to a struct. Which has Do I even need to do that? I don't, do I? Or do I? Mm -hmm. Okay. I kind of do. So what would do? this and then yes JSON code ID why is that complaining I guess because I'm not finished off maybe we'll see and why didn't that come through So, yeah, nice. Ah, so if I if I auto completed that, I'd probably do it as well. J S N I D K. Do that. Interesting. Yep. Now here. This is going to be an int 64. Last year's, yep. And then we're going to sign this. And I should be able to. Yeah, I just give it the fields. So here we can go. Um, ID, S to ID, 
abbreviation, let's start abbreviation, body, thank you, and then for the last used, we're going to do S dot oops last used Unix that's not right this is okay and then in theory return Jason Marshall J. So we create an on the fly structure which basically matches the actual snippet, but we're saying we're going to return an int64 and we also rename in the fields to be lower cased. And then we're going to pass in the details from the actual snippet and we're basically just going to convert them to this. ID abbreviation body and last used, but here the last used we're converting the native snippet to a Unix timestamp. And I think for safety we should probably go like that. Just to be sure, but I think it probably does that already. Unix returns the unit time, the number of seconds elapsed since January uh, UTC. Does not depend on the location associated with T. Um, right, now in theory, that's all we need to do, because when we do this, Marshall, of a normal snippet, it satisfies the interface, and we should get out what we want. So we'll do... Oh no, it's close, so we have id is correct, the abbreviation correct, the body correct, last used is correct. So, all right, so what's happening is spaces again. What? I thought I got shot at them. Oh, now that's different, isn't it? I hadn't... Yeah, okay, I hadn't taken them out. Uh, so... Needs to be collapsed down. No spaces around the comma. No spaces around the comma. 
no spaces around the comma. No changes when I format. Excellent. Good stuff. Okay, so we can now marshal a snippet to a JSON encoded string. That's useful. Uh, and I'm running out of time already. But that's good. So that's getting us close there. So what we're going to do next is start using that in an export function um, and stuff them into an array. Um, yeah, so, okay. I will commit that. Add marshalling of snippets to JSON encoded string. I should do. Push that for safety. Smart. Okay. Uh, so shall I just keep tabs of what I'm doing? How far I've got. Uh, so status um, we can marshal snippet to JSON encoded string. To do. So the next bit is um create export format now I'm saying like that because I'm not, I think I'm going to have a slight upgrade to at, the, at the moment, the CLI and the GUI. You can just output um, and that's it. But it would be really nice if I had an option to do it to standard output as well from the CLI. Oops. Um, so think because we've got the flexibility of doing that now with all this marshalling and so on and because I want to make it testable um, part of that will be create an output 
string as such in the format we want. And then we can either spit it out, standard out, or write it out to a file. So next thing I think is create export formatted output. Um, I'll do that. Just keep an eye on that. Cool. All right. Uh, that was good. That was uh, that was fun to get the uh, the marshalling work in there. That was nice, and it's good to have um, this output working as it should. So, okay. Thank you very much uh, for watching, um, and until next time, you take care. Bye.